This bomb is getting worse! <laughs> oh no, I opened Pandora's box. Great, Cause suffer like, with me. Just like, what? Let me make something entirely clear. When I first heard about the squirted hooves, I literally went from the get-go just... Okay, this is definitely some edgy bullshit. There is no way this could be good. Mm -hmm. And what did you know it? It fucking was. Because it was just... It, it literally felt like pretentious edginess with porn. Because that's literally what it fucking was. It's pedantic bull. It's pedantic bullshit and self-aggrandizing misery. And the thing that kind of annoyed me was just how they broke Twilight. They literally yeah. like I am all for changing a character like from a, from their canon perspective, oh. but literally all they did with Twilight was oh yeah, she and the squirted hooves are together because the master sexually assaulted her. Yeah, which that is was just, a, that just, was a that, plot point. Like that. That was certainly one of the decisions of all time. Yeah, that was literally, <laughs> that was literally oh something that, that Jitterbug Jive literally did. <laughs> that the master of all characters assaulted Twilight, and she and Discorded Hooves got together and became a couple. Even because... Though, because plot convenience. <laughs> let's, because let's fuck like, you. Let's bond over me exploiting your trauma. I mean, our trauma. Our I mean, trauma, yes. I, my tr <laughs> My trauma is the- and then fucking Discord Hooves had the audacity to be like, My trauma is greater than yours! I watched Rory and Amy be turned into fudge abominations! <laughs> oh yeah, that's apparently one of the other reasons as to why Discorded Hooves- I mean, Hooves is in the, um, in the Pony universe. His- his TARDIS, for some reason, somehow transported itself into Equestria, and since he's a Time Lord, he was able to shift into a Pony form. Dude, Maybe? Oh. not so much. They turned into hamburger helper. D okay, <laughs> dude. Okay, hang on a second. I just gotta put. I gotta post this up. Okay, so those pictures that I posted from from the master are from like a couple of months ago. This was from this was from February of this year. That that's not even trying at that point. What the, like, what, uh, what, why what, is his hair standing out like that? Why is his hair like cardboard? No, but don't you get it from February to now? What happened? You just went completely underwater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And may I remind you guys, this is considered one of the best pony blogs that it was ever made. Yeah, it's great. It it's the best. It's, yeah, people, it's put the... It, people put it on it's pedestals. It's the pinnacle next of what old like... fiction should be. It really isn't. It's like the idea of discorded <laughs> like the idea of discorded hooves is neat, but the is execution it? is terrible. Because it's, okay. I admit it's like, I have a bias against grimdark and just edgy depressed for the sake of edgy depressed, but like mm -hmm. is it is the idea neat? Like here's basically the thing about it. Like the idea of making Doctor Hooves, you know sort of dark and edgy, can be done right, because Doctor Who has shown that. Look how they did it with the 10th Doctor. Look how they did it with the 11th Doctor. Look how they did it really well with the 12th Doctor. And they even did the exact same thing with the 9th Doctor. Those were really damn good. This, on the other hand, is just pretentious... Did he ever rape anyone? Huh? No. He doesn't rape no, exactly. anyone. <laughs> this blog, on the other hand, literally... Yeah, this blog, on the other hand, went, Oh, Dr. Hooves is so miserable that he decides not to save the world, so he decides to become an alcoholic and fuck everything he sees. Also, like, he's a phys also he physically abuses Derpy in front of her kid. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, that's yeah, another that, thing. Uh, that's, yeah, that's, apparently... kind of, that's the kind of thing that makes me go, like, why is this necessary? Let me... I have a, I have a mini story for you guys. Uh -huh. A tiny tale, if you will. Yeah. Uh, a little nightmare? Yes. Um, I had a friend, I don't think I remember their name, uh, who was a Horse People fanfic writer, and they were writing something that I... And I am pulling this from fragmented memory, but I'm pretty sure it was about Vinyl Scratch, who is a vampire. Oh, vampire. Oh, my know. roommate I is a vampire. don't know. No, it's like, I'm not sure if it's one you guys have heard of, because I don't know if you ever finished it. And for some reason, a part of it was just Octavia being needlessly and relentlessly abusive to Vinyl. And I remember asking them why. And they didn't have an answer for me. And I literally just said, my guy, you can't just do this for nothing. 
just for the sake of doing it. Yeah. There needs to be kind of a reason, right? And that's, yeah. literally, that's literally how this blog... That's how literally the blog feels. It's just pretentious suffering for no actual explanation. And to make it even worse... Yeah. It got it. There's a there was a lot more fucked up stuff the writer ended up making. They made a very not safe for work version of it, where they went, oh yeah, discorded hooves act, yeah, zerulium hooves, where discorded hooves resisted the corruption. So Discord does something to Doctor to Doctor Hooves. I'll, I'll let your imaginations run on that. Okay. Yeah, Zerillion Hooves was a time and a half. I don't think that blog exists anymore. But, no, okay. Juniper Jive nuked it after, um, I think after a while when people really started to go into the, yeah, no, maybe we shouldn't touch upon these things and kind of treat it lightly. Yeah, and here's the thing that... Sorry, here's what? the thing that... Here's the thing that got me. There's a pan... There's like a, a short image set uh, from Discord Hooves. Uh, where the doctor shows up and he has the the revolver that he was given by the uh, by uh, uh, by Donna's dad, right? right. Uh huh. He shows up. He shows up and he sees that the master and Octavia are having a little having a little tea party. They're they're enjoying their time. Master's not doing anything wrong. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Who's then just shoots the master for no fucking reason? There is a reason, actually. There is a reason. It's because the master was having tea with Octavia, and that was the current uh, that was the current focus of the doctor's lust at the time. <sighs> Jesus Christ! You know, if it was if it was the whole oh well, I decided to kill him because he did the horrible thing to Twilight. But no, no, this this just wow. It, it really does feel like if Jitterbug Jive is taking all the terrible directors that I'm familiar with. Like the guy who did that horrible movie, Funny Games, or, yeah. that, or and just going, "Hey, I'm gonna put this in a pony blog. Do you enjoy it? No. Well, fuck you. Here's like like more posts about it, and it's gonna here's continue five on for nearly ten years. Fucking, here's another five panels of Duffy getting fucking beaten around for no reason. Oh, and yeah. they never even say why Discorded Hose became Discorded. Because, you know, obviously when you get Discord, when the characters get Discorded, it's because they see something that pretty much makes them believe it's going to happen. Yeah, like in the blog. Yeah, well, in the blog, they never tell you why. For some apparent reason, it all revolves around Derpy, and so Dr. Hose beats her up. He just Ooh. beats her. He beats he her took, up the, He beats her he up. He went to the Andrew Tate school of... He went to the Andrew Tate school of being a man. Wow. <laughs> he beats her up at one point, sends her to the hospital, and then proceeds to screw one of the nurses. Wow. Oh, I remember that! Oh, my God! I forgot about that! Oh. Um, and, this was, and this was considered one of the best MLP blogs. Because of shock value. Because of shock oh, value. This, oh, my God, I can't believe that anybody had... Like, everybody enjoyed this at a point. You remember when this was, like, the cream of the crop? You had fucking Little Miss Rarity. You I had Discord Hooves. I was gonna mention Little Miss Rarity. Like, I, like, I tried to enjoy Little Miss Rarity, and I did, and it did for a while, but then it felt like Little Miss J just repeated themselves to... They pretty much fell yeah. into the Discorded Hooves category and just kept repeating themselves to an absurd degree. So I, I just kind of abandoned it. I, I, was also, I was also going to say, like, some some of those types of stories, like the the older Milo Pony, Grim Dark stories, and everything. I feel like they start they started getting the si same type of feeling as like Creepy Pasta stories, and how like a lot of the older ones have not aged well. They really <laughs> haven't. I mean, if, if you guys re if you guys read the original Jeff the Killer story, that thing is not aged very well. No, oh, Jeff it's the Jeff the Killer is terrible, but I tend to see it less and less like a ter like I mean it is trash but I see it more <laughs> like a terrible B movie type of material yeah especially when and you I hear the to, narrations of it I used to read a lot of creepy pasta stuff like in high school and like now that I'm looking back at Jeff the Killer especially I'm like oh my gosh this is not aged well especially in this day and age it's bad oh, yeah. but I tend to view it in um because like so bad it's good because like I watched this one YouTuber who who like read the story to her brother and said that's not how bleach works. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't like turn your skin white. It does not do that. No, bleach doesn't turn your skin white. 
<laughs> oh, I... Also doesn't yeah. turn your hair, else, does, else doesn't turn your hair black, either. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, it shows age very badly, and I'm like, uh, I hate that I read it once, and I'm like, nope, not reading it ever again. How did we get yeah, here? I, we were talking <laughs> about Grim Dark. Grim Darkness. Like, uh, I, yeah. I don't mind, like, MLP Grim Dark. You just kind of need to do it somewhat right, and don't just do yeah. shocking for the sake. It's like don't be fuck. It's like don't be fucked up just for the sake of being fucked up. Like, yeah. oh, sh like one oh, of the sh best, um, one of the best Milo Pony Grim Darks I I have read to this day and heard is definitely something sweet to bite. Like that's one of the best ones I've heard. I think I heard that one was actually pretty all right. It is, and it was traumatizing when I was younger because the audio of it, and I'm like, oh gosh, no. <laughs> and they used actual I mean... sound. If you think that's bad, try being me and trying to help my dad clean offices at night and listening to creepy MLP stories <laughs> in an abandoned in a very empty building. That uh, sounds like you did that to yourself, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like he wasn't like he wasn't like forcing you to watch those. No, <laughs> funny, but like, I needed something to listen to. Here, yeah, watch work. this. Watch the, these cupcake. Why not just, just uh, do what I, like, why not, Yeah, why not just watch fucking. Okay, can I read an excerpt from the Discord Who's Wiki about Miss Twilight Sparkle? Oh god, yeah. oh, what am I- oh, mm. go ahead, go Let ahead. Let us enjoy the story time. Gather around, kids, grab a blanket, grab your <laughs> snacks and your beverage, for we're about to take a we're about to take a, a trip down the rabbit hole. <laughs> I would <laughs> I would I'm like gonna... one alcohol, please. Damn, this new three dog is on fire. I'm going so... to go ahead. So, Miss Twilight Sparkle's entry as a character within the Discord Who's universe, their interactions started when the Doctor was drunk, and Twilight offered her hoof and friendship. He proclaimed that we do not need friends. Friends are rub. Twilight insisted that on not only did he need friends, but he, she was going to hug him. Big mistake. Uh, while hugging him, he caught a grope of her flank, which he later described, if you put a giant marshmallow in a dryer and not have it melt. God. Thus, the nickname Marshmallow was born. The two playfully flirted with each other on occasion, and eventually, after noticing the troubles the doctor was going through, she offered him a very special gift. Her virginity. She would die, women are of women, and their emotions. Oh my, oh my god. I feel like, I feel like how are you going to my drink? Wait, what? What uh, I feel like shooting myself now. What the fuck? <laughs> oh Damn it. After that, Twilight started getting a lot of flack for sleeping with one pony. The doctor was one of the first to stand up and defend her. Oh, how gentlemanly of him to stand up for the honor of his fair lady. I've literally seen better <laughs> writing that. from, like, roleplay sessions we... that I had, like, 12 we... years ago. I'm sorry? I said I've literally heard better, like, writing from, like, roleplaying stories that I took part in, like, 12 years ago. Oof. Like, yes. Mm, this is this is masterful writing from the parts of Jitterbug Jibe. It's virtuoso in terms of literary auteur. <laughs> we shall put Jitterbug Jive's work up on the pedestal where it belongs, right next to the writings of the <laughs> Onion Man. Because holy shit, if I had to choose between this and reading Reaper's Creek, I'd rather throw the cactus. I hate. I, I, I just hate. I hate. I hate. Oh, can I, I hate. admit that I love your narration voice? I. I feel nothing but rage. Oh, and there was also that time that the Doctor cheated on Twilight with a half zebra, half pony named Laura the Zoder. Oh yeah, Lord Zazoni was a goddamn thing. <laughs> you could certainly say that. Oh, Vlad, and we interest. Really, we Vlad, yeah. we really ought to have you around here. We'd like just, <laughs> just for the sake of like if we find like a stupid fan fiction, completely safe, but like stream where you read this shit out loud and people will laugh their asses <laughs> off. Oh, I would happily do so. <laughs> or you can do your own videos with that shit. Enjoy this image of 
I hate you. <laughs> I really hate this one. Oh, and you want to know the best part? Jay Lynn, there's a there's best a, part? A, allegedly best, quote unquote best part. There's a moment where Dr. Hooves re reunites with Derpy, and it looks like the two of them are going to patch things up. But then Hooves ends up once again being discorded, steps on the bow tie that Derpy gave him as a gift, which then leads, leads to Dinky, of all characters, beating the snot out of him with a brick. Damn. Which was the, which was the funniest shit ever. Honestly, honestly, that just sounds really cool for, you know, someone like Dinky, a child, to take a break and beat the shit out of somebody for hurting her mother. Yes, yeah. hey, Dinky, the five-year-old, proceeded to hurl a full-grown man. He's the greatest mother in the infant child. Okay, first off, you're, like, deep-throating your microphone right now, it sounds like, <laughs> but also, like, hell yeah. Uh, this is also, just, duct tape like, beat, is saying... Beat the shit out of that abuser. So, Vlad, I'm reading duct tape saying, Bro, I'd pay Vlad to read a bad fanfic. Shut up and take my money. Are you, do, you, are you, do you suppose you could start your own Patreon for this shit? I would happily do so. That's a, I, I've been looking into something to, like, find my niche with. Niche. But my niche... Oh, also, there was some character named fucking Warden whose fucking cutie mark was a Merkaba. No fucking reason given. Also, he looks like this. What the fuck are we doing? Uh, uh, edge, edge, um, edge, 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 This is like... You... Um, just... Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, oh, also... I have a question. Yes? Okay, Chuka. Why is Discorded Hooves a Pegasus? Because mm. apparently there is some idea. I don't remember what the context is, but something led to Doctor Hooves becoming a Pegasus. I give her oh. even in the show they changed his like his um his, his type of pony he was in the show. He at first he was a Pegasus, then he was a freaking unicorn, and then a Earth pony. Like make up your mind, what kind of pony are you? So like the general canon with um the general canon with Do with this with Doctor Hooves is that he is an Earth pony, but with Discorded Hooves, again I don't remember what the context was, but something led to him later on developing wings. Oh, do you also want to hear another great part about this this <laughs> masterful piece of art? Yes, I would Af fucking love to. After Jack Harkness finds his way to the My Little Pony universe and is one of the only people that the Doctor could identify with as one of his former friends, after a minor argument, the Doctor proceeds to walk him to the edge of the TARDIS while it's flying, shoot him in the back of the head, and push him out of the TARDIS. <laughs> oh yeah, that happened. They also he also shoots him at one point. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like this this blog is literally the edgiest of edge lords and it's not even fucking funny. Say hello to the doctor right his great one liner right before he plugs that round into Jack's skull. I know. I know. I'm gonna go ahead and link oh. that in the chat. <laughs> um, I, 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 I know how to shoot with hooves. My yeah, right. question is, how the fuck? Yeah, I was about to say, conveniently, he doesn't show how he's shooting with hooves. Nope. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> it's, it's some kind of, it's some kind of weird alternate that he has on his hand. It's like a wire attached to some shit. And the thing, and like I said before, this blog started off immediately after um, the season two opener with um, Discord Discord. discording the characters. And it's still going! Jitterbug Jive has not fucking concluded the blog! And yet it's just the same repetition bullshit! You know how long it's been going? 84 years. <laughs> This show was m this was started. This humble blog was started December twentieth. What? You You're cut out there. You cut out. It's been is just dying. It's been going since December twentieth, twenty eleven. So this is roughly after the uh, Brony fandom like kind of started. Yeah. Yes. And this has been going for well over a decade. Which basically, 
Discord Hooves has pretty much survived has pretty much survived a generate a one MLP generation. Also, and it's not even fucking dead yet. Also, Spider Duck, that was a joke. Also, here's a picture of this of Discord and Hooves holding his gun. He knows how to shoot with hooves. What the fuck about that makes any sense? Uh, it looks like a wire. The yeah, there's a string attached to the trigger. Which I, that string attached to is fucking ballsack. <laughs> sure. Okay, since that is a thing, hold on, give me a minute. Give me. Are you um, gonna need. Do you need a glass of water? I'm back! <laughs> Are you yeah, okay? we heard! Do you need a glass of water? <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. No, you're not. You are no, not okay. No. no, you are not okay. Cue that my my chemical romance song. Oh, also, look at them. Look at these two. Look at these two. Look at these two ponies about to engage in epic. How is this still going? Oh. <laughs> if there is a god, he looks down upon us in mockery for our hubris. Do, do you think? Do you think that God stays in heaven because he is scared of what he has created? Yes. <laughs> well, I, I would place. agree. <laughs> oh, I I even found the exact panels upon which Doctor Hooves turns around from his revolver into the back of Jack's skull. Oh, it's very well. It's very well made and well drawn, and I can totally tell what's going on in it. <laughs> <laughs> or if this one gets taken down, Golden. <laughs> I'm sorry. The stream. The stream went down. No, he's no, saying. No, I'm sorry. If it, if it gets, gets taken, taken down, down because of this. Oh, there have been people who have discussed Discord who's on YouTube and on Twitch before. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I David he... 80's got that got that reference I made. Nice. Cool. <laughs> I think the most annoying part is that Jitterbug Jive just cannot handle criticism either. Like, there were so many people who criticized the blog, their way of writing, the way that they incorporated Miss Twilight Sparkle. Mm -hmm. the, the, infamous, the infamous incident where they begged their fans to buy them a goddamn figurine, and they pretty much dismissed the criticism of just people being mean to them. Mm. Oh, I forgot about this one. Oh, I'm not going to post. I'm not going to post the picture, but it's of the it's of the master's pony with a very salacious look, with the text saying "My turn till day," heart drawing, and the subtitle is "The Master About to Words I Cannot Say on YouTube or Twitch." The Doctor. <laughs> Can I uh, see the image? I know I'm going to suffer more, but fuck it. <laughs> Mm. I will send it to you in DMs, but needless to say, Discord Moves is a masterclass in writing if you want to piss everyone off and you don't need to have any more friends. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to shoot somebody and throw them across the room! Also, that's, that's the context. <laughs> Def, hey, I, Nick, I, why, hey Nick, why don't you do pony stuff anymore? This <laughs> is the reason. People have actually asked me the similar question, Nikki, on my own streams, and tell them the reason why. Because I'm yeah, tired. Not to. <laughs> I'm yeah, tired. Like, like, there's been a couple of times where I've tried to stream where I've played like a uh, Spyro or something like that, and I've gotten a couple of questions just like that, and it's just like, ah, I don't know. It's, it's just welcome back, Solar. It Welcome really, back, Solar. Is, like, personally, it drives me crazy. Like, even when the fandom was at its peak, there, I know that there's some people who want to latch onto other things outside of My Little Pony, um, mm -hmm. and it's like, why don't you just go back to doing pony stuff? Like, because, okay, if you don't branch onto other things... Stuff. Well, uh, like, firstly, if you're, like, if you're just sticking to one thing and not branching anywhere else, you're going to be looked at as a one-trick pony, no pun intended. And uh, therefore, it's it's kind of imperative to be more universal with your yeah. content. And also, mm -hmm. you're you're only going to have, like, a certain, like, um, following if you do that. Yeah, yeah you're only going to cult. 
Yeah. It's so, it kind of reminds me a bit of like what happened with uh, Wendigoon. People considered him at first just a um, iceberg channel, but then he started to branch out to other weird topics like conspiracies, um, events in history, no, and mer. And- hmm? I hope you realize those are all still iceberg categories. <laughs> are they really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would say that a better example of the things that he branched out to was like doing the story of uh of the most irradiated man. Oh yeah, that as well Just... as like his favorite book, Blood Meridian, which was five hours long. Did he um? Yeah. Did he also make that video about the Black Parade from My Chemical Romance? Yeah, he did that one. He did a vi- he did a video on the Black Parade. Um, which other one? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that video made me want to purchase the album. Like, I love the songs, <laughs> but I didn't really think too much about, like, you know, this is the concept. Kind of a, yeah, and I was just like, I'm glad I bought that album. <laughs> I love the concept of Black Parade. Golden, I think yes. we broke duct tape again because he sent me a, he sent me a voice message saying frustration is real. <laughs> Oh, dude, I just found the greatest comment on the wiki, and this is a wiki that Jitterbug Jive made themselves, and this is from somebody called a fandom. It's the generic fandom, like, a non-account, but it's from July 27th, 2015. Um. Wow, this is something I've never experienced before. Once again, there's the immature fandom trying to take everything into their own hands. From this site, and the many comments on the Discord Hooves blog, I don't think everyone realizes that although Dr. Hooves is discorded, his behavior matches the depressing plot of real life. There's one thing I can definitely conclude from this, and that is suicidal tendencies and depressions get you shunned by everyone, leading to a vicious circle that never results in a good end. Where's the empathy? If the fandom gives up on dis- on Dr. Who's, the blog will never end happily, and that's one thing to hang over your shoulders every day. Go no, fuck yourself. End. It wasn't I gonna end happily to damage. begin with. Have you seen any of it? <laughs> Have you I just, it? That, that feels like it came from years. That feels like it came from a burner account. That's yeah, exactly that what it- that account. reads, I'm 14 and this is so deep. Okay, yeah, exactly. let me lay- let me lay this down. Oh, it, neg- like, suicidal tendencies get you sunned by society. No, they don't. Yes, there is a negative stigma against suicidal tendencies, and that's just because that's a fact of the reality we live in. Do you know what most people who have sinned suicidal tendencies don't do? Beat women. Yeah. It's <laughs> not hard. Mm. You're comparing apples to oranges. You're trying- you're reaching for the moon when it's in a fucking puddle, my guy. <laughs> People who write this kind of shit are the types of motherfuckers to try and open their mailbox with a box cutter. I don't even know why people would try to do that, but okay. That's the point. (laughs) (laughs) I guarantee you that I guarantee you that the type of person who would shampoo has instructions. Wait, what? Exactly. (laughs) They're the types of motherfuckers that would chew the aspirin. (laughs) Ow. Okay, that that hurts. That hurt. That hurt my teeth. Uh, no. Why you've been uh, chewing aspirin? Hey, don't judge me for what I do in my free time. No, <laughs> I, I won't. But uh, don't chew aspirin. It may, it may have been by accident. Yeah. Dude, dude, I love this. I love this one dude's one dude's report in the blog. It starts with it starts with the Edward, so I can't say it. But he's just like, you think you can write this shit and get away with it? Let's see. Let's run down the list of what you put in this story. Pinkie Pie is dead. Fluttershy is dead. Applejack continuously abuses Apple Bloom. Rarity is qua- crazy and Twilight. Well, you know, she doesn't even she doesn't even know how many ponies you've that this guy has betted and how much of a man whore he really is. Personally, I think this uh, that this dude's life is falling apart as well as what he did to Ditsy is completely un-, un fucking excusable. The fact that you got your ass kicked by a fucking toddler was deserved, and honestly she didn't go fa- far enough. Dude, whoever wrote this, this and non, you deserve a fucking medal. Anon <laughs> <laughs> is the real MVP. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Dude, you ripped, you fucking stripped him down to the bones. I mean, we love to see it. We love to see it. We love to see it. I just want this blog to be over, but it's never gonna be over. <laughs> it's never gonna be over. We could yeah. literally be like in three, like in like 
five generations, and somehow Discord will, will still be continuing. Oh yeah, without a doubt. No fucking, no fucking shot. <laughs> four, four billion years in the future, the surface of the Earth is being scorched off by the surface of an ever expanding sun. New chapter uploaded. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second. Let me check to see is 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 Miss Twilight Sparkle still a thing? Is no, the blog still... and the blog. I think the blog is over, but the character still shows up, and that's the other reason I hate the blog so much because of how they ruined Twilight. Again, I get it. Interpretations of characters can happen. That's how many people write the fan fictions. That's how many people did the ass blogs. But if you're mm-hmm. going to change Twilight. By having her get essayed by a villain just for the sake of being a piece of shit, and then pretty much get her with a character who pretty much screws more than anybody else than a got than a than any other like than fucking Dean of Supernatural does, then you clearly very, have a fucking problem. That's a very good example. I love that you use that. <laughs> <laughs> at least, and, and even then with Dean, at least he somehow was able to settle down until season six happened, and I really fucking hate they did that. Yeah. Yeah, well, anything that happened after season six is non canon. Yeah, Wait. that's that's literally what it is for me. Our, Supernatural ended with season five, and I hate that they decided, so let's continue it afterwards. Oh, oh you, were, you were talking about Supernatural. I'm like, what are we. Like, what are we talking about now? <laughs> yeah, I was I'm a using little confused, too. I was like, yeah, I'm using, using, like where did like, Dean come from? I refer- <laughs> because I referenced Dean, one of, the bro- one of the brothers from Supernatural, and how in that show, he would always find ways to sleep with women, and that's literally what Discorded Hoods is. He's just a guy who goes around sleeping with women because he's miserable inside. But even Dean in Supernatural found happiness because at the very end of Season 5... He got back together with his former girlfriend, who actually ended up having a kid that was exactly like him. And everybody was pretty happy that he found somebody, and season five ended with him being with that kid. You know, being with that girl and raising the kid. Season six comes around comes around and says, oh no, um, his brother is out of hell and is soulless. And those two people are always going to be in danger, so let's just have Dean erase their memories of ever ever being with him, just so he could go back on the road of being a hunter. I need I need to watch Supernatural. I haven't even watched it before. Just stick to season one through five. Six onwards are just very very off putting. I will say that I will suggest seven simply for one character. Mm-hmm. Benny. I will also recommend the Scooby Natural episode, aka the episode they they did with Scooby Doo. Hard. Yes, that was a thing. Supernatural did a crossover with Scooby Doo of all of all things, and it was actually pretty damn good. Doesn't it give the Doesn't it give the Mystery Gang an existential crisis? (laughs) Yes, it does. (laughs) The infamous moment where like Velma Daphne, where Velma Daphne, Shag, and Shaggy and Fred have a meltdown at realizing that supernatural creatures are real. Yeah, that that, they actually do have an existential meltdown. Wait, so everyone, West Old Man Jenkins, who's like running the the old mill down the road, we're not used to fighting fucking Satan. Also, Dean hooks up with Velma because he is correct. Yes. Wait, wait, so everyone except Scooby has a, me- has a mental breakdown. Yeah, I oh think Scooby God. just kind of watches everybody have a meltdown, and we even hear fr- we even hear Shaggy go, I told you about this every freaking time! <laughs> I, no, I actually think Scooby was just like, God help us all. <laughs> oh god, yes! <laughs> oh yeah, doesn't like doesn't isn't doesn't Daphne go oh, like wait if ghosts are real does that mean hell is real? Am I going to hell? <laughs> yes. Like I said, um, the Scooby Natural crossover is the best goddamn thing that Supernatural had done since season five. It was awesome. To mm-hmm. answer the question in the chat, actually, Discord Hoops is not really considered a grimdark clop fic. It's more considered a it's more considered a um, Tumblr blog. It, even then, it is a very, very terrible Tumblr blog. Also to point out, yeah. one of the other frustrating things about it, it is very fucking dated. Because, again, one of the things that made the blog, at least for some people, relatively unique about it, was that, Dis- was that Discord was this evil character that many people build him out to be. 
What is he really in canon, especially after the events of later seasons? Oh, he's literally just a troll. <laughs> this motherfucker? Oh, he's literally pulling the puppet strings of Discord being e of Discord being a miserable fuck. Which is just <laughs> great. Really I, I fucking love that. I I, I I hate this blog. I fucking wish the blog would just die already. But also Jim for, uh, can just yeah. I was gonna say for that comment too, I kinda hate how they kind of moved the blogs into like the grimdark area. It's like it's not considered a grimdark fanfic. It's like I hate how they kind of generalize them into that because they're not <laughs> Because they kind of just... now got mixed in. It's sort of like how Marble Hornets got mixed into Creepypasta when they're not really Creepypastas. It nah. bothers me. <laughs> I will never get over one aspect of this fucking blog. There was the whole, like, pony prom thing, and, like, Discord Hooves literally makes out with the with Jitterbug Jive's OC, like, his self-insert OC. Oh, uh, good God. That, oh, that, no. that, that, man, that person must have been really desperate just to be like, oh, I want to fuck my own character. Oh, they really, they feel in themselves. They really feel in themselves. For real. I am awesome. God damn For it. real. For real, for real. They feel in themselves. For real, for real. And, and yeah, no thing... cap. yeah, what was that logic? You know, what's, you know what's the most irritating thing about that? <laughs> when I heard about how much Discord who sleeps around without consequence, like, my brain's just like, oh, so this is a self-insert thing. But now yeah. I can't say that, because now he has an actual one. And I'm just like, oh, yeah. so the other... So the other thing wasn't a self-insert oh, thing. Oh, look how much of a stud I am. It's just oh, hey. sad. Oh, he also slept with Zakora. He slept with Zakora. He slept with Brayburn. He slept with Little Miss Rarity. Uh, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, isn't that technically what Anon is, too? Yeah. Like, Anon does that, too. Yeah, but the yeah. thing about Anon is that at least you can sort of acknowledge that Anon is a stand-in for everybody and everything. Especially with the 4chan internet community. Oh, God. Literally, like, Discord and Hooves is literally intended to be some sort of, like, three-dimensional character when he barely qualifies for two-dimension, let alone one. It's supposed to be a three-dimensional character that everybody originally assumed was a self-insert for Jitterbug Jive, but then Jitterbug Jive proceeded to throw his own a OC into it, this and have him just fucking Mac lip just... They're slapping cheeks. What are we even doing anymore? And Twilight is into it. And yeah. Twilight is so into it. Yeah, bro. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh uh, Vlad. Hey, Vlad. <laughs> Did you ever hear about the bedeviled derpy d bullshit that happened with Jitterbug? Oh, Jive? yeah, I remember that. Okay, so, like, for anybody who doesn't know, so there was a fan of Jitterbug Jive who created a blog called Bedeviled Derpy, where. Instead of it being this uh, Dr. Hooves who gets discorded, it's Derpy. So instead, she becomes very lustful and very um, no fucking intimate course. with wanting to get <laughs> with Discord. No, it doesn't lead to that. In fact, the artist always kept insisting it was never going to go in that direction, and she actually avoided that topic in question. Thank God. Some self-restraint. Which, you know, self-restraint. But the blog itself had some merit, especially for people who really shipped, who started to ship her with Discorded Hooves. But then at some point, I guess she decided to reboot the blog, and then afterwards deleted her deleted herself from the community. And so, and so Jitterbug Jive decided, oh, this was an interesting idea. I'll take it up. And so they told the people they were that they told people on Patreon that they were going to plan a reboot of the Devil Derpy, and that it probably was going to be considered canon to the dust to the Discord of Hoves universe. That they sound like immediately when they brought it back, they instead redid the whole thing by instead having Derpy be a bunny and calling it the Devil Dotty instead. Uh <laughs> Then what, what was the fucking point? <laughs> why yeah, there was no rabbit? point. Like, it literally feels like they now. just did that just to give people who like Derpy a middle finger. Because they really seem to hate Derpy, even though they run the blog beat um Lovestruck Derpy, which spoilers apparently is a prequel to Discorded Hooves. Yep. My brain. Uh, also, I forgot I forgot <laughs> that I if you did that with permission from the person who did the uh, Devil Derpy thing? Um, like... I think they were unable to contact them because, like I said before, they deleted their blog, and so there was no way to contact them ever again. 
But then after you said all that, I was just like, oh, so he just wrote a completely different thing. So it doesn't really matter. Maybe, guess, he, get, maybe he couldn't get permission, and that's why the bunny thing happened. Yeah, I, suppose, yeah. I mean, that could be the case, but I don't know. It just really felt like a huge middle finger thing, especially when I think <laughs> that they said that if they got a certain amount of follows, they would bring back, they would end up getting Bedouble Derpy up and running. And then when it did, they just decided, oh no, Derpy's a bunny now. It's like, <laughs> all right, thanks As for wasting do. our time. Not oh, anything. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. Also, that entire situation about that thing being a prequel just hurt my brain. <laughs> yeah, Bloodstruck Derpy is apparently a prequel blog that explain that pretty much showcases the adventures of Dr. Hoobs and Derpy before the events of the Squirt Hoobs. But at that point, I don't even know if that's even the case because there's another version of Dr. Hoobs that they encounter who is some sort of cyborg cybernetic thing. Oh god! Yeah, I, more. I love like it. a fr- like a future version of him. Now, here's the thing that gets me just a just a tiny bit. It, I really do. I I subscribe to the line of thought that Jitterbug Jive has some kind of hate boner for Derpy because I distinctly remember when she was in the hospital after beating that uh, Discord who gave to her. Um, he went off and slept with Derpy's friend Carrot Top for no other reason than to spite her. Yeah, I really do feel like like Jitter just doesn't like derpy at all even though they for some reason the, yeah even though they run the love struck derpy blog it's like every single time derpy comes in they just have to do something malicious to them 100 percent malicious with no with no he, he, that woman must be beaten with further hesitation it's like, I understand if you don't like a certain shipping, but Jesus Christ, imagine dedicating an entire blog just to go, yeah, fuck this character, I hate them, and I'm gonna do everything in my can to make you feel bad. Well, I mean, I wasn't know, that one live-action Scooby-Doo movie made specifically just to kill Scrappy, and it worked? Oh, yeah. no, yeah, um, what was his name, uh, <laughs> James Gunn did that. But you wanna know the funniest <laughs> part about that? You wanna know yeah. the funniest part? James Gunn later on admitted regret because he ended up later on realizing, wait, there's Scrappy Doo fans? Oh shit, that's um, that's a goof. <laughs> like shit, like I... hey, surprised me too. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, didn't they also make a joke about it in a Scooby Doo cartoon where they're like, oh, we don't talk about Scrappy? Oh yeah, oh, they yeah. did that with Mystery Incorporated. <laughs> but you want to know the funniest part? The yeah, comics, the Scooby Doo Apocalypse comics. Which is liter- which apparently is a story where they put the Scooby Doo gang in an apocalypse scenario. Yes, I'm not kidding. Oh yeah, isn't that the one where Scooby's not there anymore because he like yeah, yeah. No, there's like a version of Scooby that's like ha- that like has cybernetics or something like that. I but love here's it. the funniest part: they actually brought they actually brought Scrappy Doo in that one, and they gave him a bat like a fucking built body, and somehow made him likable. Hmm. That's that person should be nominated for sainthood. Like apparently, <laughs> I mean, it is possible for them to make the character entertaining because they did that with the Thirteen Ghosts of Scooby Doo movie, where they brought, where they ended up bringing back Flim Flam, which, by the way, people said Flim Flam was worse than Scrappy Doo, and they made him entertaining in that mm-hmm. movie. So it's like, okay, you're able to do this. So if you're able to somehow do it to Scrappy Doo, that would be kind of interesting. But Warner Brothers is just sitting in the background going. We no. would, but we don't want to. F- but fuck you, we're still gonna do the jokes. Like, okay, whatever. Curse of the Thirteen Ghosts. Yeah, Thirteen Ghosts of Scooby Doo. Is that the one where Shaggy was wearing a red shirt? Uh, yeah, I think it was. I know for a fact there was like a weird yeah. period where he wore red shirts. Yeah, like, that's yeah. That's her, that- that's the one where he wore a red shirt. I have, I have that on my Apple TV, so I, I do, know it. I do remember trying to give that a watch, and I was immediately falling asleep. And I think that was because, um, like, because Key is a big fan of Scooby Doo. Um, we were watching, oh, it together. I know but that. also like prior to that, um, I had, like had a big meal at Olive Garden, so that's probably why I fell asleep. <laughs> I know for a fact he is probably did watch uh, Thirteen Ghosts because I remember talking to her on Tumblr about how she's a fan of Scooby Doo and how she really wants to see a really good story for Shaggy. 
I mean, there is some good potential. It's just... It, it's just like Scooby-Doo just, into a werewolf. Scooby -Doo just keeps falling into the wrong hands most of the time, especially yeah. nowadays. Yeah, it, like it, you had, like you had some pretty decent, like you pretty much had the uh, Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, which I know many people say is really damn good. I mean, I didn't give a ch didn't give it that much of a watch because I felt the show was way too damn cynical. It is like that. Okay, I will say that. Fucking Mystery Incorporated does have its flaws. For example, like anything involving trying to make Velma and Shaggy. Oh god, don't remind me that it was, was dumb. That. It was bad. It was bad. But it was bad. on the whole, I appreciate the you know the I I was about something. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, normally it's like normally Scooby Doo is just that episodic go get the bad guy rinse and repeat thing, but now it's like no, like fucking all of these things actually amount to something, and there's an ending. Oh, here's an idea. Let's go ahead and spite the shit out of a beloved character for hate watching. <laughs> Oh, Vel wait, wait, we don't uh, talk about Velma. We will never continue talking about Velma. <laughs> we, don't, we don't talk about Be Cool Scooby-Doo, and we don't talk about Velma. We don't also, talk about Velma, no, no, Actually, no. you know what's funny? I've heard that people pointed out that even though Be Cool Scooby-Doo was um, something all right, it was considered at least entertaining Better than Velma. because of its weird comedic effects. Well, that's had. because it was just Family Guy with Scooby-Doo characters. I mean, for one thing, they did. I mean, for one thing, they did make Daphne. They kind of changed up Daphne by making her kind of kooky. Clinically insane. The word is clinically insane. Clinically insane. Uh, and I heard that the Scooby Doo move. I heard that Scoob was also passable, passable, but nothing like, but nothing too spectacular. Um, Golden. Someone in the chat was asking, um, which character in any of the Scooby Doo shows. Did we find the most obnoxious out of said characters? Ah, uh, okay. So normally, a lot of pe a lot of people would say uh, Scrappy Doo, but Scrappy also like there's a strange history with Scrappy Doo. Um, something about I will say this, Fred. Fred just I don't know what it is. He kind of just rubs me the wrong way. I feel like I one mean, of the reasons it could be with Fred is because, in comparison to the other characters, he didn't really have, I guess, a trait. Yeah. Like, it was, I know the perfect, sure. I know sure that was pretty much it. I, I know the yeah. perfect, I know the Think about it. Like, every other character... This discussion. Every other there one of the big... major... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was Go just ahead. gonna say, every one of the other major characters in the show had, like, a thing, you know, jeepers, yeah. doinks. Yeah. Fred, Fred doesn't have that. Fred, Fred, Fred is fuck. a complete Fred black. Says yeah. fuck. He didn't have did not. Fred <laughs> says fuck. I'm, I'm, exactly. I'm, I'm probably gonna get hate for saying this, but like, I generally did not like Daphne the entire time through any iteration of the show at That's all. Fine. That's, I mean, that's understandable. That is a completely like, natural opinion. Like, that's not even a hot take. That's not even they, lukewarm. That's like cold. They even <laughs> made fun of it in the live action take. movie. They made fun <laughs> of it in the live action movie. How she's always a damsel in distress. And it's mm -hmm. like it's like yeah, she kind of is. Yeah, and then, and then in the, the live action, action movie, she learned, she yeah, learned, she was like, very annoying in that food. too. She's like, honestly probably the most inconsistent out of the whole gang because, like, yeah. every iteration, it feels like they try to give her a new gimmick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the, the only like, one that, that Daphne did it is so one of two things. Daphne is either weird gimmick Daphne or weird fetish Daphne. Yeah. <laughs> Like, also, in regards to the story with Scrappy-Doo, it's, again, like Olden mentioned, it's kind of weird, because he originally was made, because after the original show got cancelled, the show was kind of on a weird slide, where it was just sort of underwhelming. So, Hanna-Barbera, the Hanna-Barbera company decided, alright, we'll create a character that will pretty much kind of shake things up. And they made Scrappy-Doo. Scrappy became popular, but then... What the thing that happens when a character becomes really popular? That's pretty much what happened with Scrappy Doo. They ended up he ended up becoming such a big thing that they started to shove him everywhere and tried to sort of copy the same formula with him. Did to you the know point that, where like, it just yeah? It's like I do want to follow up that point you said about him becoming too popular. 
Mm-hmm. The the TV trope section for the character that everybody hates because of how obnoxious they are is called the Scrappy. That's how well, big he was. Well, like, yeah. Because okay, so like, here's the thing. The reason that that and became later on the TV trope is because for a while after Scrappy was pretty much put to the side because Scooby Doo went in like in dormancy after a while, like around mm-hmm. like eight, around late eighties. It was around the nineties when Scrappy when Scooby was taken by Warner Brothers. That cart that basically Warner Brothers and pretty much anything involving Hanna Barbera started to throw the pop culture references of Scrappy being terrible, and well, that kind of started the snowball of people of people who grew up with those cartoons going, "Oh yeah, Scrappy Doo always sucked," which eventually led to James Gunn, who already hated the character, <laughs> to make the movie where he basically said, "Hey." This character that everybody hates, and that pretty much e- that even Warner Brothers hates, yeah, he's the villain, and I made this as a big middle <laughs> finger to him to as kill him off. To assassination. <laughs> they made is like fucking. Not only did he write what is effectively the longest character assassination in media, but he did <laughs> he. He basically said, I, small dog, somehow creates and pilots robot Mr. Bean to try and take over the world with actual demons. <laughs> yeah. I'm laughing at Retro Fuck it, we ball. comment right now. We ball. <laughs> we ball. <laughs> like, it was so... Also, Golden, yes, I can't see that. Yeah, who I'm is, trying to... Who is Cheeseburger? Uh, it, just uh, says t, it just says T dot dot dot. Like, how do I expand the name? Oh... The Chunky Bear, my brother. Yeah, the Chunky Bear. Okay. Oh, it's Chunky Bear. <laughs> it's like, I, it just says T. It's like, Discord, I need to be able to read the rest, of not just one fucking <laughs> Wait, letter. Wait, I know, I know there's something. It's only, it's only my name and Bear's name that are shortened. So it's, it's Logic's like, brother. Hello. It, yeah, so it's, it's like, <laughs> it's only the British ones who have been, mm-hmm. who have right. their names censored. No, Discord, you, know, you racist um, bastard. Um, um, babe, it's also on my streams with Snick's name. It, his name got cut down in the stream as well. Yeah, I guess it's just when you have a really long name with hyphens, <laughs> underscores. They call underscores. I know it did the name like once. It did like there once. Listen, logic. I know what the answer is, but it's the same. It's the same thing that scared Maxor so terribly in. In oh, the no. incorrect, the incorrect assumption of Ultra Girl. It's my worst nightmare. <laughs> but um, but yeah, that's the reason Scrappy Doo is hated because pop culture made it so easy to hate the character, and then James Gunn made it easier after that. No, Def, do you yeah. know what they did? But fucking, I just realized this. So. They did the ugly Sonic thing, but in reverse. Yeah, that's basically they what turned, they did. They turned Scrappy into ugly Scrappy and then killed him. They took him out behind the shed, Mossberg and everything. Yeah. And oh my again, god. The thing, that's so, the thing that's so amusing is that when you really think about it, yeah, he was annoying, but you wouldn't really call him like the worst character of of like the Scooby Doo franchise because there are far worse characters that Scooby Doo yeah. made, like Flim and Flam and Scooby take, Dumb. And they were gonna take that man away from Guardians Three after all that he did for <laughs> humanity. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Um, can I mention one of my favorite scenes from the live-action Scooby-Doo movie? Because yeah. with Scrappy Please. in it, it, just, it, made me laugh. it made me laugh. The scene where, where Velma was telling that guy about Scrappy. And, oh, the re- <laughs> and the one where Scrappy like, jumps on top of Daffy and like pees on her and she's like, puppy power. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what the heck? <laughs> And then yes. he, wasn't even a pup- and, he wasn't even a puppy, according to the movie. And then Fred just like yells at him and says, "No, you do not do that." And then he's like, "You're marking your territory." And I'm like, "Oh okay, God. And then it's, it's hilarious because, like, again, the like the movie is literally a character assassination. Like, no, like fucking. The best way I could describe it is smoke Scrappy at all costs. The movie. <laughs> Which, okay. is, which they is a just, just cause. 
Yes, but it's like, like just that scene alone exemplifies what it is. Because it's just like, why did he do that? Why did they do that? Why is he now trying to stage a fucking coup of the mystery <laughs> man? I like oh. that James' other quote. And like, after that, your he left tried... <laughs> and uh, it's because of how fucking extreme it is. Looking at it in retrospect, <laughs> it all makes more sense. Because he goes from staging a coup with the gang to being like, okay... I'm going to somehow create Robot Mr. Bean, somehow own an entire island, <laughs> somehow, and, and, you know, let's be real with ourselves, somehow, summon actually actual, actually demons. <laughs> <laughs> all to like become just, powerful and kill Sophie. All to get back at the people who abandoned me for pissing on some guy's girlfriend. <laughs> I can imagine he could do that. It's still but funny when the... you remember that the movie flat out even implies that he's not even a puppy. That he apparently yeah. had a short problem. A little... They gave him a Napoleon complex. Also, what were you gonna say, Vlad? So, circling back to a previous thing, I got curious oh, about man. old Tumblr blogs, and I decided <laughs> to take a look at <laughs> Little Miss Rarity. Just, uh, just out of curiosity. That was a mistake. Oh no. Just that, no, here's the kicker. Little Miss Rarity, when you click on the link to it, it doesn't take you to Tumblr, it doesn't take you to the blog, it takes you to a fucking, like, a medical provider site, specializing what? in psychological <laughs> help. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Brad, why? Why does it take you to a medical site? I, I don't I know. I, I think it's I think it's I think it's a hint, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you want another fun of this part too? Because I, I, I remember this, because at the time when I did follow the blog, and yes, I followed the blog because I didn't know any better. At one point the blog ended up being suspended from Tumblr because graphic content, I mean obviously. So they attempted to. So Little Miss J attempted to continue the blog afterwards, but in a rebooted way before eventually saying, "Ah, fuck that shit," and just continue the blog where it left off. <laughs> Which is just. I love how it's like, "Hey, we saw you were trying to look up this fucked up shit. Do you need mental help?" <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I love. I, I love that. So. Like, Little Miss Rarity fast tracks you to a therapist. But Discord and Hooves, nah, fam. That's fine. Enjoy. <laughs> nah, man, that's art. Fuck it, I... It's like, let's, uh, let's play hide and seek. I hide and you seek professional <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh, and the reason... Oh, yeah, and the the whole... The cream on the crop about why Little Miss Rarity became a thing... Because because Opal ended up scratching Rarity's face and she decided to beat her to death. Whoa! Yeah. yeah. And oh, then, and because Ra her. oh, and because Rarity was obsessed with pink with Pink Amina, aka Pinky's cupcakes persona, because of course. Yeah. So she becomes a dominatrix. And so she becomes so. a horny dominatrix woman. Okay, no, I'm done. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh, and to make it even more interesting, no, yep, yep, yep. interesting she ends up uh, branding herself after that. Yeah, yeah, it, it went to dark places. Where the fuck oh, and, is my look, and Princess Molasses. Oh, okay, Princess Molasses. So, <laughs> okay, so what we're saying is. Discorded Hooves said, I will be joining the war on drugs on the side of the drugs, while Miss Rarity said, I stopped using meth for good. Now I use it for evil. <laughs> and this is all supposed to be some sort of... It, it was yeah, that was, that was basically the Discord, line of thinking. I, it's like, Discorded Hooves walked so that little Miss Rarity could run. They so, both started at the same time, basically! So, so hold on. All I'm not wrong. Hold on. This was all supposed to be some kind of suicidal analogy. <laughs> because of that no. comment what Vlad read earlier. No! It is literally that. just someone's fantasy, Golden. It's just someone's dark fantasy. I would I say to. this, though. Little Miss Rarity did have more creativity, because at least they had the balls to introduce Abaddon and Mephistopheles, you know, the demon <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah, know. that was also a big thing that did make the blog interesting and one of the reasons I liked it. They ended up having revelations that the reason all this bad shit was happening was because of a demon. Methos because of Abaddon. 
Which is and then Memphis. Ooh. Then Mephistopheles showed up and was like, I'm gonna beat the shit out of my son now! Yeah! Oh my gosh. Well, one, of the, one of the reasons I, st I basically gave up on the blog was because even though they had those awesome ideas, they kind of slowed down on it, and it just became less and less focused on that, and more of just... Oh, look, well, you the know characters are doing something. Like, Def, you know what it was? Right. The shock value wore off. Yeah, it's like what is like what if you get flashbanged once, damn. But if you get flashbanged like fifteen times, eventually you're just gonna stop seeing. Oh, flashbang me once, shame on you. Flashbang me twice, I'm gonna kill you. Oh, and <laughs> you want to know the funniest part? Midway through the blog, Rarity ends up making a plushy, like a life size plush, because they're they're kind of anthroponies at this point in the story. Of like you do with oh, with basically Opal's you know skin oh, basically inside the plush you. and it comes and it comes to life and Rarity at some point ends up being in a relationship with the plush, which was possessed by Abaddon because fuck you and your logic I don't give a shit. Yeah, <laughs> I, I did it. Shame on you! Flash bang me twice, and the last thing you're gonna see before you die is me sprinting at you naked with a tomahawk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god! Man, I love that you use that meme as an example. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> and the fuck, <laughs> and what, one of the things that ended the blog ended up doing, and I remember this distinctly. There's a moment where Rarity is being tortured by Pinkamina. And then she finds herself, it literally deus ex machinas, to her in the beginning where everything is all normal and happy. And she basically decides, oh, I'm getting a second chance. Should I keep the second chance, or should I go back to the way I was? Ha! I think no. I know what I should do. Yeah, no, fuck that. I want to get my rocks off. <laughs> so she once again kills Opal, cuts herself to have her Little Miss Rarity appearance... And then basically um, tries to for tries to force Rainbow Dash and Applejack to I mean Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie to fulfill the role of cupcakes. Yeah, uh, Jeff, you would think she would learn her lesson the first time. <laughs> no, she There's doesn't. Grim dog. Instead, but it's, what ends up happening is Pinkie Pie oh, ends up oh. becoming Pink Amina, not murdering Rainbow Dash. Thank God, although Rainbow Dash becomes a lewd dominatrix with Big Mac because of course it does. Uh, uh, uh. The only, I'm starting to detect a theme. He, the only thing uh, that I liked was the fact that they made Applejack into some badass ghostly fighter. Yeah, like a demon hunter. That was some real shit. That was some uh, real shit. That was the thing I liked. <laughs> but other than that, feel free to screenshot. <laughs> but other than that, it was this just literally, it literally follows the same formula of discorded hooves of wasted potential where you're like, you have a good idea, but you're wasting it on stuff that you could literally just jerk off to. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. That's basic that was basically the the whole like crux of the argument I found was yeah, let's just fucking let's I don't know, throw fetish in there. Fetish isn't enough. I right, let's throw some more shock factor. Oh, uh, whatever the fuck. Just, yeah, I don't know, man. Was you know what? There was nothing good that came out of 2011. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just I just reached. I have. I have reached an epiphany that has like reduced my mental health to like point one percent. that logic. People write fanfics about Bluey. <laughs> oh, no! 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 Don't. Banned. I'm logic banned. Like, like banned. I fucking said. Like there are certain things that are fun to enjoy that should not become a fandom, and Bluey exactly. is one of them. Yeah, no, yeah, I Bluey's would... definitely one of them. Uh, Bluey is just that show that I would just die protecting. <laughs> I mean, Bluey is like, Bluey's protect just wholesome. Show. And the sad thing is, I know for a fact there's some people out there who look at it and be like, "I could do something with this." Meanwhile, I'm in the back. I'm going, no. "Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Don't no, you touch know what it is. Fucking you touch know what it is. It. You guys know the you guys know the trailer for Man like Man vs Machine from TF2. Yeah. And yeah. Like, both teams are teaming up against the robots and shit. Yeah. That's yeah. us. Bluey's behind us, and in front of us are those fucking fanfic writers. It's, it's literally Dude. similar to how I feel with like how I tend to go. Oh my god! What if there's something about Mister Rogers' Neighborhood? I don't even want to think about that. Yeah. It's <laughs> <so> <laughs> awesome. Listen, man. 
this is all I'm saying to the people who want to write that shit. There is nothing stronger than a well-constructed argument. <laughs> Except for an M32 rotary grenade launcher, because fuck you and everyone near you. <laughs> Just do not touch Bluey. Let it be this cute, wholesome show about a little puppy and his, and her family. Just, Just listen. It's a life show of kids getting into fun little hijinks, and that's that's all you need. This is this show is a cure to my fucking depression. It's listen, bro. man. Bluey, Bluey is this. We all enjoy the show, right? Yeah? Then yes. we can all shut the fuck up about it. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, That's literally it all it is. It doesn't need a fandom. It just... It, it, it just needs people appreciating good. it. Yeah. Yes. And I I'm like this it. thing. And yeah, cool. I'm glad it's getting appreciated. I love the fact that my family has acknowledged it, and they're letting my, ne my newborn nephew enjoy it. Good. Very cool. It's Love like, it. I enjoy this thing. Yeah. I also enjoy this thing. Let us mutually agree that we enjoy enjoy this thing. Yeah. And then go our separate ways and never talk about it again. <laughs> but there are going to be the people who are like, I enjoy this thing. I also enjoy this thing. Shall we make characters and come up with storylines and make a fandom out of this? And they will go, fucking brother. And like, I have a question for those people. It's like why? it just shouldn't have it. Why? It's like I get, I understand why, but at the same time, it's like no. Yeah, it's I know why. It's, why? it's it's wholesome. It's cute. It's entertaining. It doesn't need that. This is my question for them. Name the last person you had a real face-to-face -face conversation with that wasn't a member of your family. For me, please. And if you can't, go outside, go to a movie, go to the library, go to the mall, touch grass in Walmart. I know that that's asking a lot, especially to go to Walmart. Oops. Please, do something. The only thing I will enjoy that I will point out about Bluey is, let me get the thing. Just <laughs> the episode Sleepy Time? That episode No, this, this, I mean... That, but this little meme. Just this meme. <laughs> yes. Yes. And it's okay. stolen. <laughs> also, I just like I just Hang wanna, on, I'm gonna go just ahead. Just real quick. I yeah. I'm sorry. It's like I am sorry for putting that evil on you guys. I'm very much a. I suffer with this knowledge. I must. I must share it. You know, I've uh, suffered this knowledge. You must know. Mm. Your suffering like, will be legendary. Even like, in the moment is like. The moment it clicked with me, I heard the words in my brain, and I swear, fucking Vine Boom sound effect echoed through my entire <laughs> headspace, and I was just like, oh no. You will <laughs> suffer as I have suffered. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm just looking at this picture, and I'm just mentally hearing the, like, the children saying, Delete this! <laughs> <laughs> I just love the fu- Just Bluey's happy face. Delete this! <laughs> You know what we Delete need? this. Okay, this is the one. This is the one fandomy thing I'll accept. You know what we need? What? We need a fan art of the really tiny angry child, just holding a gun, saying "Delete this." <laughs> <laughs> I'll accept that. No, wait. Make it a, make it a Nerf gun. Obviously, Why? make it a Nerf gun because that'd okay, be funny. Fair. Yeah, that actually would. And uh, just for a little bit of a t like a little bit of a sort of like a spin on it, <laughs> make it bingo. <laughs> Yes! Bingo with a Nerf gun and just DELETE THIS! <laughs> that is just uh, me, me lying here knowing that now that we have spoken the possibility of a Bluey fandom even existing by the nature of reality it will now manifest itself like some kind of eldritch abomination. I <laughs> What a god. <laughs> oh my work. god! I love that! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Infinite <laughs> monkey theory is now already at play. <laughs> the monkeys Fucking and the typewriters have already begun. Oh Fucking no. Fucking, you watch. Sir, there's been a second like, monkey. <laughs> you watch a few days after this, like, a few days <laughs> after this stop. stream, when the fandom's, like, a thing, the fandom shows up and is like, Zeus, your son has returned. I bring the destruction of Olympus! I've come to run the hands. 
The Kirby's you, calling the police. The monster, <laughs> yeah. create, the monster you've created has returned. I will say this. This will be me on Twitter with every single one of those motherfuckers. Block button my ass. I'll reach through the screen. <laughs> <laughs> also be able to know the rest group. <laughs> But on that note, it is almost 3 a.m. I do have to work shift tomorrow, do and I have... don't want to have... Yeah, mm. and I do have to end the stream. We've been here for a while. This is one hell of a post-show. Oh, no, we're still How long have you been streaming? Yes. Uh, long four enough. hours and 45 <laughs> minutes. Hey I'll, hey, I'll tell y'all people this. Y'all want, you all want more fringe tales from the Tub of Pony Dubs? <laughs> Hold on, what is this? I'll be your archivist. Welcome just, to the land. I just thought of something oh, amazing. <clears throat> hmm? yeah. Okay, so Golden, you remember when me, you, and Wolfhead did a bad fanfic reading? Yeah, oh, I'm still waiting for that to be finished. So am I. We need to grab. <laughs> we need to grab up a bunch of people who are willing to stomach this stuff, and one of your streams should just become exploring the worst oh, that the no. fandom has to offer. To the worst I'm, of the worst. Uh, that, you know that'll be a special. Wish. That'll be a special place for the den. I'm I'm down for that because I read terrible fanfics anyway. So I'm, I I am doing the den tomorrow with uh like okay. So you guys know the uh, YouTube channel Zach Coy or Zach Choi, however you say it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it keeps uh, so. popping up on my recommendations from <laughs> their short saying, Would you eat this? And he makes these bizarre dishes to a compilation, to some of which are just like, Okay, that actually looks pretty delicious, to some of the most disgusting bullshit. Like, he'll make like a long stack of like a cheese sandwich with like a few slices of ham and deep fry it. And I'm like, I'm not gonna eat that. <laughs> It kind of reminds me of that dude, of that lady on um, TikTok who would substitute every, like, if she was making, like, per se, like, a burger, she would substitute the burger, like, the bread, the br the, br the, um, the bread for the burgers with bell peppers. Why? And she'd be like, this is bussin', to which it led to people making fun of her by literally saying, is this, like, eating, like, very random food, like, very awkward food, and going, is this bussin'? <laughs> <laughs> this, this shit bussin'? <laughs> Fucking bussin'. Oh, Golden. This shit, yes, this shit do be bussin'. Um, what time are you thinking about doing the den tomorrow? Uh... Okay, so whenever it comes to planning streams and such, I'm not always, like, up to par with that. Like, I mostly, I know in the, I'm, I'm mostly in for a late hour, you were saying? I was gonna say, I, I know in the morning, I have to do an 80-minute video for class, so I'm like, uh. <laughs> well, if you gotta get something done, like, earlier in the day, then just keep me posted. <laughs> yeah, I will definitely keep you posted, because I'm like, I would like to join for that stream, because I would like to get my input on food, because... I'm sure a lot of you would want to give your input on food. I mean, talking about food is exciting. I shouldn't be talking about food right now. I'm hungry and it's like almost midnight. Oh, man. man, I can't wait to talk about Pennsylvania food. Nothing but fucking hungry. <laughs> anyways. Am I full of opinions about food? <laughs> yeah, anyways, uh, to, the, to the Twitch chat. Thank you for joining in on this one. This was one hell of a stream. Hope you have a good night. <laughs> Night, Night all. Night.